Welcome to the mayor's message of May 14, 2020. I'm Mayor Ron Jensen. As of 5 p.m. yesterday, Wednesday the 13th, Grand Prairie had a 200 cases of COVID-19 in Dallas County with five deaths and 83 in Tarrant County with one death for a total of 283 cases and six deaths. You can track information daily at gptx.org. Remember, we've set up a hotline for general COVID-19 and business recovery questions at 972-237-4465. Here's a look at the new cases day by day by county. In Dallas County, even though the daily numbers are higher than a few weeks ago, and most of that is due to testing, we are seeing a plateau in terms of increases. In Tarrant County, we see peaks and valleys, but a flat seven-day rolling average. I did not include the 576 people who tested positive at the Federal Prison Medical Center in Fort Worth. Maybe a better factor to consider is the actual infection rate in Dallas County. It's 9% compared to Texas rate of 6%. And in Grand Prairie, on the Dallas County side, 4% of those tested are testing positive. Current trends are showing a decrease in admissions and hospitalizations, ventilator usage, and deaths within Dallas County, even with the increased number in positive cases. It does not mean COVID-19 is gone. I continue to urge you to follow health safety protocols. The two federally funded drive through test sites will be open through June 30th per the governor. And in addition to these sites and your private doctor, we have other new drive-through COVID-19 testing sites in DFW. Kroger Health now offers a free drive-through test in Dallas and Fort Worth. Of course, you must pre-register. Walmart, other pharmacies, and E True North have opened drive-through test sites in Dallas, Fort Worth, McKinney, Frisco, and Carrollton. You must first qualify for COVID-19 creep screening and schedule an appointment on the website. We also have a few food distributions happening. On Sunday, May 17th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., pending inclement weather, Agape Connects drive through Food Pantry at Lone Star Park expects to hand out one to four boxes of food per vehicle. The event ends promptly at 2 p.m., so cars still in line and not served by that time will not be able to get food. Stay tuned to the city's website for further weather updates. If you miss one, come back to the North Texas Food Bank event Tuesday, May 19th from 9 to noon at Lone Star Park. Both drive through food pantries are open to anyone. Food will include dry goods and fresh produce. No registration is required, no identification required, drive through clients only, no walk-ups. For both events, drivers will enter on Lone Star Parkway queue up in lines and exit on Performance Place after receiving food boxes. Also next week, our recreation centers will distribute food from 9 a.m. to noon, Wednesday, May 20th, as will the Hispanic Heritage Ambassadors from 9 a.m. to noon on Wednesday, May 20th at the Pioneer Event Center at 1025 West Pioneer Parkway. If you missed it, the Ruthie Jackson Center was on Fox & Friends for its free garden weddings promotion. The local Fox station covered the first free wedding. Then the national talk show picked it up from that. Take a look at the video. A Texas wedding venue is helping couples impacted by COVID-19 celebrate their special day by offering ceremonies free of charge. Joining me now is bride and groom-to-be Sydney Mutton and Hayden Arnold and the general manager of the Ruth Jackson Center, Cheryl Allgood. Thanks for being with us. Thanks for having us. Yeah, thanks, thanks for having us. You're welcome. All right, well, Sydney and Hayden, how do you feel and how did you find out about this? Um, we are super excited and super thankful that they're letting us have our ceremony at their venue. Uh, we actually found out about it through a uh, women's group, through a local church that I'm in um, for engaged women, um, just all going through the same thing at the same time. Uh, one of them posted the venue in that group, and I sent them an email. Now, did y'all already have a wedding planned and you had to cancel it because of this? Yes, so yes. we actually had a wedding planned for the same day uh, for a different venue, but um, just with everything going on, they, they had to reschedule that. So we'll actually have our reception at our original venue in September. Oh, that's wonderful. Cheryl, you're so sweet to do this. You are blessing so many couples and allowing them to get started a little earlier than they, than they thought because of this virus. Why'd you, why'd you do it? 
Well, you know, we had space. We're a wedding venue in the city of Grand Prairie, and we, like everyone, have been affected by COVID. All of our weddings have moved on to other dates, and we had a beautiful garden with nothing going on. And one day we had a vision, and we said, why don't we just open up the doors and let people, rather than getting married in a justice of peace office or in a a garden, why not make them um, get married in a let them get married in a beautiful venue and so we opened up the garden and the response has been tremendous well we're all trying to help our neighbors at this time and you definitely are are. you're providing marriage is love for so many different families Mm -hmm. in a time when we need it so much we wish you all the best i know you're getting married on friday you're gonna have so much fun it'll be one of the best days of your life okay god bless you all thank you we are phasing back in our employees to the office beginning may 18th with city buildings beginning to reopen on May 26th. More info on which buildings will be on our next show and on our website. We highly recommend everyone who plans to visit a city building to wear a mask, maintain social distancing, sanitize your hands, and please stay home if you're running a fever and are sick. The Dalworth, Shotwell, Charlie Taylor, and Epic Recreation Centers will reopen for fitness only on May 26th. Members will observe social distancing, hand sanitation, equipment cleaning, and wear a mask if possible given the workout routine you're doing. The Summit, Uptown Theater, Farmer's Market, and indoor and outdoor swimming pools will remain closed for now. Understand IKEA will start curbside pickup service May 18th, and other retailers are opening with restrictions. On a solemn note, May 15th is Peace Officers Memorial Day. In place of our usual memorial at the Public Safety Building, this year we offer this moving tribute to Lyndon King, Greg Hunter, and A.J. Castaneda. Please watch and honor those we've lost in service to others.
as we work toward reopening, let me reiterate, stay safe by wearing a mask in public, staying six feet apart, avoid touching your face, washing your hands frequently, and stay home if you're sick or vulnerable. I'll see you next week.